Denver, Colorado has been called the Mile High City due to its famously high elevation. After all, it is a major metropolitan hub right on the edge of the Rocky Mountains. Urban innovation and the great outdoors collide in this unique American city. Denver is well known to be a city whose inhabitants are obsessed with winter sports like skiing and snowboarding. As such, it's one of the best destinations to check out if you're looking for a bit of adventure. And Denver is also known for its culinary arts. There's no shortage of world-class restaurants, cozy cafes, and bustling brew pubs to satisfy just about any craving. In today's video, we're going to take a look at 10 of Denver's best sites and attractions. Keep watching. Larimer Square in 1858, some settlers and Native Americans discovered large deposits of gold at the base of the Rocky Mountains. News of their momentous discovery quickly made its way to the East Coast, and people immediately started venturing out west to turn a quick profit of their own. The location of that first pioneer encampment, which the settlers named Auraria, quickly evolved into the vibrant area now known as Larimer Square. Obviously, Denver has expanded quite a bit since those early days, but this historic area still retains much of the original spirit that helped establish the city more than 16 decades ago. Being the oldest part of town, Larimer Square is a fitting place to start your exploration of Denver. The area is also full of restaurants, shops, galleries, and lively bars. So while you're brushing up on Denver's rich history, you'll also have plenty to do besides just reading informational placards and appreciating the neighborhood's old-world architecture. Denver Art Museum in addition to its architecture being the work of visionary design masters Gio Ponti and Daniel Liebeskind, the Denver Art Museum also is celebrated for its collection of Native American and Western art. But its collection isn't just limited to exploring Denver's historical roots. You'll also find famous works of art by renowned artists like Monet, Van Gogh, and Sandy Skoglund. Standing at seven stories high, the Denver Art Museum is, in fact, the world's first high-rise art museum. Within its walls are more than 70,000 diverse pieces from all over the world, covering many centuries of art development and innovation. Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater Red Rocks Amphitheater is one of the nation's premier concert venues. Headliners such as The Beatles, The Grateful Dead, The String Cheese Incident, Tom Petty, and John Denver have played some of their best shows at this beautiful place. Featuring exquisite views of the Rocky Mountains and miles of hiking trails through the vividly red sandstone cliffs, Red Rocks is far more than just a great place to catch a live show. It's an outdoor lover's dream come true. The park itself spans more than 700 acres, and if you don't know where to begin, a quick trip to the visitor center will provide you with some pointers on how to best experience all it has to offer. Even if you don't intend on attending a concert, Red Rocks is worth visiting for the nature alone. If you can only swing by for an hour or so, we recommend going on the one and a half mile long Trading Post Trail, which shows off some of the most beautiful vistas that can be seen at the park. Denver Zoo Adventure awaits you at the Denver Zoo, which is modeled after a Kenyan nature preserve and houses more than 4,000 animals, including kangaroos, rhinos, giraffes, orangutans, and lions. This 80-acre zoo features many different ways to explore and discover the wonders of the natural world while learning all about its furry, scaled, and feathered inhabitants. The Denver Zoo is committed to conservation and strives to educate the public by creating extraordinary experiences that nurture human-animal connections. It's also the most visited attraction in the state of Colorado. Every year, more than 2 million people swing on by to visit. The zoo itself is located in Denver's City Park and is divided into a number of different geographically themed regions such as Predator Ridge, which features animals that can be found in the African Havana, and the Tropical Discovery Center, which showcases creatures like the Panamanian Golden Frog and Green Tree Python. Denver Botanic Gardens the Denver Botanic Gardens, which can be found on York Street, spans more than 24 acres and gives visitors a chance to see a wide range of gardens that explore the incredible biodiversity from nearly every corner of the globe. Some of the standout sections of this lush botanical wonderland are the lily pad pond, which is surrounded by roses, and the tropical section. But don't go in expecting a thrilling experience. The Denver Botanic Gardens are more so meant to be a place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city with all of its fast-paced energy. It's the perfect place to have a picnic or go for a leisurely stroll. If you're visiting in the fall, the colors are breathtaking. There's also a lovely conservatory to explore, but keep in mind it's fairly warm inside, so plan accordingly. Mount Evans Scenic Byway You'll be missing out if you come to Denver without experiencing the breathtaking glory of the Rocky Mountains. To truly appreciate these majestic mountains, you'd be wise to devote at least a day to driving up to Mount Evans. And it's not about the destination so much as the journey. 
The Mount Evans Scenic Byway is a two-lane road that'll take you right to the top of this ancient mountain. Along the way, you'll experience what it's like to traverse 9,000 feet of elevation change. Once you get to the peak, you'll be over 14,000 feet above sea level. So have your camera ready to snap some pictures. As you make your way to Mount Evans Summit, you can pull over and enjoy jaw-dropping vistas at a number of lookout points. Remember to take it slow, because the real draw here is the opportunity to admire unparalleled views of the Rockies. Denver Museum of Nature and Science this facility is the Rocky Mountain region's best resource for hands-on learning. The museum features three floors of exhibitions, as well as a planetarium and IMAX theater. Visitors can explore everything from minerals and gemstones, to dinosaur bones and Egyptian mummies, to even outer space. The museum showcases artifacts related to a wide range of scientific fields, including zoology, health, paleontology, anthropology, and space sciences. A few of the standout displays include the center's wildlife exhibit and the interactive Space Odyssey area. Coors Field Located at Denver's Lodo District and named after Denver's best-known mass-produced beer, Coors Field is the home of MLB's Colorado Rockies. While this stadium is certainly worth visiting to experience its architecture, it's best enjoyed when the Rockies are in town to play a home game. Sitting on 76 acres and with a capacity of 50,000, Coors Field is a modern stadium with a distinctively old-fashioned vibe. It was built in 1962 and has been a fan-favorite baseball stadium ever since. If you visit with kids, make sure you spend some time at the interactive area, where you put your skills to the test in the video batting cages and speed pitch zone. The rooftop bar is also a great spot for adult visitors to get a taste of some of Denver's best local brews. If you're visiting in the off-season, you can also get a guided tour of the stadium. Union Station Denver's Union Station is both an operational public transit station as well as a highly celebrated dining and shopping center. It first opened to the public in 1881 as a railroad station, but it was severely damaged in a fire in 1894. In 1917, it was given a major architectural overhaul, and today it's an Amtrak station and bus terminal. The station is also the home of many boutique shops and restaurants, as well as the Crawford Hotel. But besides being an entertainment hub, Union Station is also an excellent place to learn about local history by taking an informative guided tour which are offered by the hotel. United States Mint If you find a quarter or dime that bears a small letter D, it means it was minted at this federal manufacturing facility in Denver. The Denver branch of the U.S. Mint was opened in 1863, with the intent of transforming the gold rush's findings into currency. These days, the Mint can produce up to 50 million coins per day. Free tours are provided that give visitors the chance to learn about each step of coin production, from the design process to the finished product. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite things in Denver? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.